football. I can't believe they didn't get a home game know, in the playoffs because Bob Wine, what a great venue, was mm -hmm. hoping that I could have the opportunity to go over there. But they will go to an equally as gorgeous stadium, the, the new one that the Falcons have. And uh, their head coach, we got him on the line right now. So let's bring in Trevor Klein and find out, like, what what's the latest in Falcons country, buddy? How's Sunday treating you so far? It's going great so far. I've just been working on breaking down film, getting ready for our game this week, but I'm of enjoying course. the day. Well, you took a couple of rough L's midway through the season against the top dogs in your conference. Talk to me about the 4-0 and finish, though, and how much you enjoyed seeing your team kind of blossom here down the stretch going in the tournament with some momentum. Yeah, our players are continuing to improve each week. The two losses midseason are against two of the – better teams in the area and we know we knew going into the season Dalton and Norway were both going to be tough matchups and uh, it was a tough game for us but I thought our players responded to it well and they've continued to find ways to get better to lead us this point in the week 11. Well you barely slide into a home game there coach you get that number eight seed what's the type of significance of not having to travel and being able to play where you're very comfortable? It's always neat when you get a home playoff game. This is the first time in school history where we've had back-to-back -back years where we hosted a home playoff game. And like you guys were saying earlier, it came down to yesterday, depending on how LCC did, did to determine if we were going to get to stay home or stay on, or we would be on the road, which is sort of interesting when you're 8-2 and two and you have some quality wins against some really good opponents. But that's just sort of how Region 25 and Division 7 played out this year. Well, you're going to get Lucas again. Unbelievable finish the last few times that you guys have played. You, you have not disappointed every time you get back on the football field. So even though they're a dangerous team, got to imagine this is a pretty fun one, and you're looking forward to some more fireworks. We always look forward to playing against great competition. Lucas has a great program. I feel our programs are very similar. We've both been to the playoffs for many straight years now, and we both like to do similar things in terms of running the football and playing really good defense. So it should be another great matchup. It's been nice since we started up the regular season games again over the past couple of years, and it looks to be another good game here in Week 11. What did you take away from the first game against Lucas that you feel like you can kind of put in your playbook and use your potential and your advantage on Friday night when you get a second shot at the Cubs? I just felt our defense played well against them again, so that's what we need to do. Again, because each time we play them, it's always a struggle to move a ball, move the ball against their defense, and the same thing for them. Their offense has struggled moving the ball against our defense too because I feel both defenses are pretty disciplined and they make you have to earn each one of your scores. There's not too many mental breakdowns on either defense. So we will look back at film from the previous game we played them, see what was working well for us, what adjustments we need to make. But obviously both teams have grown since that week two game. So it'll be interesting to see how it plays out. So, yeah, like you said, it was week two, eight weeks ago, two months ago that you Whew. two played. Uh, you got to think both teams are a bit different from when you started the season. How have you progressed? How have you, you know, changed since that week two matchup? I think the biggest thing for us is we've gotten a lot of experience. We're playing a lot of young players this year. And I mean, we have many underclassmen who have gotten eight games of experience since then. So I feel that's only going to help us. But I also know for them too, they have guys who have gotten experience too. They were playing some guys in some new positions this year. So they've also got eight games of experience in those new positions too. So it will be a great matchup between both teams. Well, Coach, it sounds like you might have a smoke detector in the background or like an oversized cricket making some noise there. So we'll let you kind of take care of that <laughs> as you get ready to bring some smoke against the Cubs coming up on Friday night at your place. Uh, best of luck to you with the preparation, and we'll see you on Friday night. Thanks, Coach. Yeah, you're right about that. I <laughs> thought I had the correct battery switched, and it wasn't doing it. And I get on here, and it starts doing it. It was too late to get it switched before as I always. went on air here. So. That is going to be the first thing I do as soon as I get off here. And that's how we do it with, with, with the live coverage, Coach, is that you never know what you're going to get, buddy. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks, Coach. All right. Thank you. Yep.